International scientists published research today showing that an experimental technique of using DNA from three people can help mothers avoid passing on devastating genetic diseases to their children. Researchers had previously announced in 2023 that the first babies in Britain had been born using this technique. On Wednesday, scientists published two papers in the New England Journal of Medicine showing that this technique resulted in the birth of eight healthy babies who showed no sign of mitochondrial diseases. It's a technique where scientists swap out the damaged mitochondria or power sources in a cell for healthy mitochondria from a donated egg. The method uses DNA from three people and required a 2017 law change to approve it. Mitochondria are these little energy producing factories, if you like, with, which all our cells contain. Uh, they have their own DNA, and if that DNA carries a, a mutation or is a pathogenic variant, it can cause a, a whole range of different types of disease according to specific mutation. But these are all a nasty set of diseases where, where children can uh, suffer a lot and, and die. Lindy was my third daughter. Um, she was born five weeks early, small but otherwise healthy. At around about seven weeks old, she started to have these absence seizures where she would stop breathing and um, just sort of stare into space. Um, and then we had a situation where she had two cardiac arrests um, and she was rushed into intensive care. We were told at that time that, that she was highly suspected of having mitochondrial disease. Um, and then the time came where they tried to wean her off life support, but she wasn't responding. We ended up taking Lily home and she survived for six months. And I guess it was during those six months that we really started to understand what mitochondrial disease was, what the implications of it were. They've used a technique, a technique called pronuclear transfer, which effectively replaces the bad mitochondria with good mitochondria. Experts said the babies will still need to be monitored in the long term and said the technique would only be suitable for a small number of couples every year. In the UK, every couple that undergoes this procedure must be approved by the country's fertility regulator. For someone so tiny, for somebody to make such a big footprint um, in, in, in the world of mitochondrial disease is pretty unique. And um, I feel very lucky and very privileged to have been to have been her mum and to, to have been able to set the charity up in honour of her, um, in, in her memory, but not for her, uh, but for everybody else.